Guys, I'm here at Fairway Ford of Greenville today, checking out the brand new 2020 Bronco Sport. We do have the base model here. This one does have the upgraded alloy wheels. This one has the 1.5 liter EcoBoost turbocharged four-cylinder motor. I'll give you a look here at the sticker. This thing is rated for 28 miles to the gallon on the highway. Uh, you can see the eight-speed automatic, 1.5 liter EcoBoost, four-wheel drive on all Bronco Sports. Here's your base features. You can stop and look at that. With options and destination, this thing is priced at $28,155. I'm going to, today I'm going to give you a detailed walk-around tour of it. This is based on the Escape chassis, so it's about the same size as the Ford Escape. This one's a little bit taller, has a lot better approach and departure angles because this is more of a off-road intended SUV or crossover, whichever one you'd like to call it. This thing really does have some great fit and finish for a brand new, all new vehicle. I'm gonna take you to the back and show you the storage space in the rear. Just want you to get a good look at the side profile. It really does have this great Bronco Sport badge right across the back, and this is the only Ford logo on the entire vehicle. It's really like they're trying to brand Bronco as its own thing. In the back here, you do have plenty of space. The seats fold down just like that one, all the way across. You have four hooks. You have a separate button here which adjusts this separate light which is separate from the interior lights that open when you open this door 12 volt plug right here opens up storage here storage here and this lifts up to reveal your donut tire you have a funnel for your uh, capless fuel filler as well as a jack and you actually do have bronco embroidered right here behind where your license plate would go uh, you know they really do know how to uh, it also says ever since 1966 right here. So this is a, a nice touch you won't ever see because you'll have a license plate there, but they, they still want the extra mile and put it in. So as we step into the rear, I'm gonna show you this rear seat room. Remember, this is the base model, so we do have the cloth seats. And you actually do have uh, on these seats, a nice little safety feature. When it's red, it's not clicked in. If we push it in, now it's not red. So we do have plenty of room in here. Let me show you where my leg room's at. I'm five foot nine. Uh, this seat is not quite as far back as it could be, but I probably have three or four inches uh, behind me. Definitely wouldn't put anybody over six foot back here, um, especially if you have tall people in the front. You do have a USB-C and a regular USB 2.0 down there. And these doors, um, while short, they do offer a lot of opening, so you can actually get out quite easily. Um, we do have, uh, I know a while, for a long time they were doing electric locks. We do have actual manual locks that you can pull, uh, as well as power windows back here. Their sticker there. Uh, also in the back, I forgot to mention, we do have a uh, actual lift glass, um, so you don't have to lift this whole thing up. The actual, you can just throw stuff in. Uh, makes it easy when you're on the go. There you go. Make sure that's set good. Now let's step into the inside. On the inside, you do get that nice Ford ding when you open the door. In here, it's very quiet. You can hear that uh, air compressor. You can't even hear it in here anymore. Uh, this is for your Ford Pass, so this is uh, has all your cameras and sensors um, for your safety. Uh, it also has, um, if we look here in the gauge cluster, uh, we do have this beautiful gauge cluster. Um, you have a lot of uh, different things that you can put in here. We have miles, um, we have miles to empty, miles per gallon, we have trips, um, hours, uh, total odometer is 5.2 miles on this. This is a brand new model. Um, we do have a beautiful uh, Ford Sync 3 over here uh, with the Ford Pass Connect. You can uh, uh, get your app going and you can adjust your heat and climate control before you even get in the vehicle. Um, this does not have a smart key. This base model has a regular uh, turn style key with a lock, unlock, and alarm on it. Um, we do have storage here. Storage here. A generous glove box, which isn't super deep, but it is very like long uh, going down. Um, storage in that door, a little handle there. Um, sunglass holder up top, we open that, and in the center console we do have center console storage, two cup holders, turn dial transmission, these are your goat modes, so if we turn this, you'll see uh, we have sand, normal, eco, sport, and slippery, and so this is what you get when you get a Bronco, you uh, you get, get these goat modes, and these really help you off-road. Um, you do have USB-C, regular USB, and a 12 volt. Uh, there is a 12 volt in the center console here. And then you do have these sun visors. Come down, we'll see if they slide. They do slide indeed. And they also have a nice metal bar, so you don't necessarily have to worry about that breaking anytime soon. Um, here's your microphone for your Bluetooth right on the roof. 
and you have two lights back here. Um, the roof actually raises up in the Bronco Sport to give you more room for the rear seats, which is pretty nice. All right, let me show you underneath the engine. Now, you do have to pull this twice. So the first pull is that first little pull, and then the second pull gets it all the way up. So there's no handles underneath the hood. All you have to do is lift this and put the prop rod down. So lift, prop rod, and bam, we're in. So this is the 1.5 liter EcoBoost motor. Uh, very decent on gas. They put it in a lot of vehicles, so it's very reliable, very proven engine. And you have your coolant here, windshield washer fluid here, oil check and oil fill in the same spot right next to each other. Battery over here. There's a lot of space in this engine bay, I believe. Um, I, I know the, the bigger option is a 2 liter, but I definitely think that they could fit a V6 in here if they wanted to. It is longitudinal mounted. Um, the reason for that is in the rear, we actually don't have a real differential. We have a, a dual clutch differential. Um, which is actually better because instead of uh, holding the brakes to get the wheels spinning, it'll actually uh, disengage and engage the clutches. We'll see how those hold up over time. Yeah, this is an all-new vehicle for 2020. With these beautiful LED headlights with daytime running lights. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for Fairway Ford for letting us film this.